saw a guy's leg bigger than my body. He's scared to come down here. He know I'm gonna take him out. Look at him, he's creeping. What's up, big safety? You need a bigger ride, man. Nothing wrong with this? Huh? You bigger than it is. Six seven comments in that thing. That's that thing's bad as all. These old hills are tough. We're just sitting on the top of a crane one right here. Is all we're sitting on. I mean, the trees won't even they, they hang over the other side. Yeah, that's what's giving so much trouble right now. Is trying to get it turned and come on up to Kevin right there. He's about got it there. Difficult walking right here. You see how deep, deep that is. And then that goes straight up that hill. Derek's all the way up there on top of it right now. That's where he's at. See him right there.
this is this is one of those places that if you turn over, you're gonna roll multiple times. This machine will actually roll all the way to the bottom of the hill. So uh, you're you're in for a ride. You're you're strapped in and everything in the seats and all. But it uh so you try try not to let that happen because it's uh it's quite interesting. Usually, like if you're on flatter ground, stuff like that, when they turn over, they'll turn over one time, and that's that's it. You know, they'll either get on the side or maybe roll up on the roof or something, and that that'll be the end of it. But like in a spot like this right here, it's it's gonna once it starts going, it's it's gonna roll until it gets to the bottom of the hill. And we've done that uh, a few times over the years. We've actually uh, blowed out tires on the skitter when they hit when they get to rolling they're rolling so hard it can it can hit hard enough to where to bust the tires on it we've done that before you set grapple swing and the grapple will turn you over faster than anything that that weight of it the pin to work like a pendulum once you grab a hold of the pull get started with it, the pull will keep you locked down pretty good unless you turn sideways on the hill. If you turn sideways, see what he's doing, he's backing up to get square with it, come straight down with it. Then you're alright man. Yeah. Because what you don't want to do, you don't want to hit a stump when you when you turn if you turn over you don't want to uh, cab to hit a stump all the way down because it'll uh, if you hit a stump it, it'll tear the cab it'll tear the cab up all the way. We've we've actually um, knocked the tweaked the cab up on other skitters that we've had where it's it's busted the legs thing out of them. He took that pile of brush all the way to the top, so he's, he's going to stage that brush beside that skid trail as he's going back and forth. So then, when he gets done in that spot right there, and then he'll take all that brush that's beside the skid trail and he'll roll it over on the skid trail. He'll already have it. He'll already have the stage right there ready to go.
It's actually uh, in that spot right there. You'll see a tree here in just a second. Shake there, guys. That's right along the line right there. He's cutting down. So he'll cut that, and then he'll go back over there and start down through there. We're not going to be sitting here very much more longer. We'll be uh, moving to another set here. I have uh, I've loaded uh, 14. It's 12. 30 right now. Kevin's tracking around to the new spot over there now. I'm gonna go pick him up in my pickup truck up here. Hill. I think this is about the tallest spot over here, I believe. I'll let y'all have a uh, panoramic view. This is the top of the hill that Derek was cutting on in a couple of previous videos. The one with the drone and the one where I was filming him. gave us uh, 10 loads to haul this week. Today's Monday. And I loaded nine of them today. This old ground up here is crazy. Kevin crest the hill there and then he'll start back going down it. 
road runs right down that ridge right there. Over there where the bulldozer is. So we smoked something in our Mac today too. Our rear end or something in it a while ago. So we just drug him up out of the way, abandoned that truck. For now, it's loaded. Just leave it, leave it sit. So there's the old Mac. I just got it pulled up. There, there ain't no tilling. We'll deal with it later on. So you can see we just put uh, oversized rock in here. This is where the water is going to come down from the side of the chicken house and cross. It's going to come down from there and go right out through there. Now, this is probably going to hold it back. This is supposed to be washed travel but it's got some stuff in it so we'll see he didn't want to put a catch basin in there and then and then pipe it on down around over there behind my truck and uh, he talking about you know a lot more money and he wanted to be able to keep it where the feed trucks and the catch trucks and all them could still come in and out of here so this is what, what we deal with he still got to move these last few piles right here but this cut right here turned out real nice I and mean, it slicked off real good right there so uh we'll see we just gotta wait on it to rain now whenever it rains Alrighty, so i'm back home got the mini here there's the jawbone on the front and the grade buckets right there so uh it's uh 9 15 right now let's crank her up here Light on. I'm taking the binder loose. We gotta get the chain off of it now. We'll put some wire on that cutting edge right there. <laughs> and all that gravel over there with the chicken houses. So I've got some things I'm gonna do to this machine that's gonna improve it here that I have figured out and I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to do to it when I do it but I'm going to do it here over the next couple of days because I got more jobs to do I got to uh, already need to be on one right now but I'm going to put him off for a few more days and then uh, 
I'll get over a tune to do it. But uh, so I'm gonna catch y'all there. I'm gonna unload it, put it under the shed, and I'm 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 right at 300 hours on this machine, and I'm gonna kind of do a 300 hour review, and I'm gonna tell some things that I that I like about the machine. And I'm gonna tell y'all some things that I don't like about this machine here. That'll be pretty interesting. So uh, y'all stay tuned for that coming up. Y'all have a have a good week. Catch y'all later. Later, taters. <laughs>